staying safe right now. I know this is a crazy time that we're living in, but I figured that these lemon cookies that I'm about to show you will bring you a little bit of happiness in your life because they have brought happiness in mine. So today we're going to be making lemon amaretti cookies and I just want to give a little backstory on these. So I had these for the first time in Italy. It was in Capri and I remember that I bit into the cookie and it was the best cookie that I've ever had. So not until recently, I actually even remembered these cookies and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to find a way to make these. So I ended up finding a recipe online and they ended up turning out so good. And my family can also vouch for that. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. Come here, Sarah. You know what other one is really good? What? The chocolate one. Oh. <laughs> I also made a chocolate one last time, but I don't have enough almond flour to do that. But, if you're interested in watching, Sarah, were the cookies good? Yes, they were amazing. Are you excited to have some more? Okay. With lemon jello shots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys are staying safe right now and find some joy in watching this video because, you know what? You gotta find joy in the little things. So, on that note, I will see you back here in a minute and enjoy these cookies. Bye! Okay, so the first and main ingredient in this recipe is almond flour. I made my own almond flour because I believe it gives such a better texture and overall flavor to the cookie. For this recipe, you'll be using three cups of blanched almond flour. Next is one cup of granulated sugar or any other substitute sugar. The next ingredient is lemon zest. So you're gonna zest one large lemon. It comes out to about a tablespoon and a half of lemon zest. Also save this lemon for later because you're gonna need one tablespoon of lemon juice for the wet mixture. So here we have our lemon, three egg whites, salt, Next is one tablespoon of lemon juice and one tablespoon of limoncello. If you've never heard of limoncello, it's an Italian lemon liqueur mainly produced in the southern part of Italy. It goes really nicely alongside desserts and that sort of thing. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can just replace the one tablespoon with one tablespoon of lemon juice, or you can try to find it at your local liquor store. Next is two cups of powdered sugar, and you're gonna set this aside for later. So in your bowl with sugar and almond flour, you're gonna add your half teaspoon of salt and then your lemon zest, and then you're gonna whisk all of that together. Next, we're gonna pour the egg whites into our mixer and we're gonna whisk those and fluff them up for about one minute on high speed. I actually over mixed my egg whites, but it doesn't really matter which texture you have, just as long as they have some sort of peak. They're gonna deflate once you mix all of the ingredients together. So, next you're gonna add the egg whites into the dry mixture. I didn't add all of my egg whites because I ended up not having as much almond flour as I thought. So I kinda eyeballed it and just started incorporating the ingredients and making sure that my mixture was not too, too wet. Now we're gonna add the limoncello and the lemon juice mixture. I also wanted to emphasize in this recipe that if you use more egg whites, then you're gonna end up with a wetter mixture. Therefore, you're gonna have a fluffier and lighter cookie overall. If you use less egg whites, you're gonna end up with a denser cookie. I've tried both and they're both so spectacular, so it's really your preference. Next, set your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so we're gonna start rolling out the dough balls. And what I did was I boiled up my sheet pan with some coconut oil. Do not use wax paper because when I did this last time, all of the cookies stuck to the bottom. So what you're gonna do is take a little bit of your dough mixture. They're gonna be quite sticky. And you're gonna make them into little balls. And then you're just gonna roll them around the flour mixture. And then you're just going to make sure that they're all nicely. 
you're just gonna put them on the plate. Here are how the cookies look before putting them in the oven. And then I put them in the oven and clean the counters. And now time to see our beautiful Amoretti cookies. So I kept these in the oven for about 20 minutes. And you want to make sure that they are a little bit golden on the edges but are still very soft on the inside. Now that I've made these cookies two times, I can tell you they're so easy to make and they turned out so delicious both times. I added in a photo of the cookies I made last time, so if you're wondering, these are what the denser version look like. Now, here's a little footage of us taste testing the cookies. Okay, we have to hurry and do this because the one that I just videoed, I was not in the frame at all. And I realize I'm still not in the frame! <laughs> so you want to come in? Well, we already tried the cookies. They're really good. I already have one and a half, so I don't think I should have another one. Who can I have? Yeah. They were very good. I already so have one. Here's a little demonstration. I'll take one. Do I eat this one? Mm hmm Another piece. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. <laughs> true. It's a warm and mmm. I bad. love when they're like around the edge it's like a little chewy crispy mm. yeah mm. Mm. i could eat a whole nother one me too all right well wow. hopefully i'm in the frame this time ciao <laughs> have a good day see ya and i hope you make the recipe bye hope you're safe and healthy bye, bye.